it's very hard being with our Rabdavid. We miss him terribly, even though we can conjure up his images and we hear his voice in our head. And we keep him with him all the time. It's the physical loss, being able to pick up the phone is immeasurable. And a story popped up in my head from a long time ago about the Rebbitzin. I thought it was very nice at the Levaya that they mentioned the woman behind the man, as the expression goes. And uh, for me, it rang true because I remember Sunday in Mirishiva, they called it a half a day. We got out at two o'clock. So hopefully we couldn't get into too much trouble between two o'clock and the next day. Again, I said, hopefully. I remember it being about 20 to two. I couldn't wait for class to end. Each minute was like four years. And I was hanging out the window, looking up the block. And lo and behold, what did I see? I recognized it as being Rebbitz and Trank uh, pushing a carriage with the two boys. I think it was Eli Malach Gavriel and Chaim Yitzchak at the time. And they were walking down East 7th Street about to cross Kings Highway, obviously coming to pick up Redovid. And I thought for a minute, I said, this is fantastic. And if I wanted anything in life, I wanted to be Zeicha, to have a wife like this, Kavadik, Tzniyastik, bringing children to me, to come see me. And, and that's, that set my goal. Because I asked myself, well, how are you going to get that? And it was at that point that I decided I was going to shadow Reb David Trank. And I would learn from watching him and being in his company. And it's been a 50 year ride. And I'm blessed in that, as I said in the beginning, even though he's not physically here, not a day, not an hour goes by where I don't hear his voice and remember beautiful, beautiful stories which were to influence my whole life.